this is the disc sander. Before you use this machine, you need to think about a couple things. It spins this direction, which means you need to sand on this side of the table. If you were to sand on the other side of the table, as you work, your material could get picked up and thrown. You also cannot hold a mater your material mid-air. Okay? As you're sanding, your hands will get thrown against the table. Material must sit flat on the table and be supported. Inspect the sandpaper before you turn it on. If there's any rips or tears, do not turn it on, ask for help. Those pieces of damaged sandpaper could come flying off, causing injury. Always keep your fingers outside of the line indicated on the disc sander. We do not want our fingers any closer than that, which means you cannot sand small material on here. With your fingers closer, they could become in contact with the sandpaper. They could get pulled underneath of this table. Only one person at a time is allowed to use the disc sander. When you use the disc sander, it spins extremely fast. Once you turn it off, it continues to spin. You cannot walk away from this machine while it's spinning. If you check behind the machine, there's some abrasive cleaners. Take one of these abrasive cleaners, put it against the table, use it to bring the sander to a complete stop. If you have some special procedure, some idea that will help you with your project on here, you need to check with the teacher before you move forward with it. Don't just dream up an idea that this can be used for and try to use it. The last thing on the sander, you do not want to push hard against the sandpaper. It will create friction. It will burn your project. It will destroy your project. It will also destroy the sandpaper. You need to move your material around and press slightly. This will generate less friction and allow your project to be sanded correctly.